TWR presents your daily video with the best market news, signals, and alerts. TWR simply is your one-stop shop. TWR technical video. Stay tuned at the end for upcoming products and services. All right, today's tech video, we're gonna talk about marker waves. What this is, different kind of waves, and how you can make money off of these. All right, so let's talk about what are marker waves. Well, stock markets and other tradable instruments, they don't move just up and down sequentially, but they go through various stages of price action and accumulation and distribution. The varying prices, they start to form patterns, and these are similar to sea waves that also look like ripples in the water. It's a natural phenomenon that has evolved over periods of time and maintained balance in the stock market. Diving into Sabre wave theory, this is a theory that says the market algos will evolve to maintain a natural basis between the demand and supply for any kind of disruption. The balance must be broken by either party domination, the bulls or the bears. Now, till the time the market remains in a balanced state, the price action should continue between certain dynamic pricing levels, which are not far from the precedent levels. These levels continue to represent price action in a waveform. Now, breaking out from the balance wave leads to good price action and thus a set of new waves that will start to emerge. And these waves are random. They don't follow any predefined paths of the Elliott's new wave theory. And we're going to talk about Elliott's theory in a moment because it's really the driving force of what's behind wave theories in the in the new age nowadays so let's talk about the wave notes right price levels which have the highest probability of reversal are called wave notes wave nodes also represent the crest and the trough the expected high and the low points which the market will continue to maintain its balance and are also known as the anti nodes those high and low points wave nodes should form on all time frames, which will represent the dynamic nature of the stock market. Now, I'm gonna blow this up for you real quick so you can see this image. Now, what you see here, the purple line, those nodes, right? Think of that as just normal price action, okay? Now, you get your shift, your volatility, okay? Your breakout, and you get your push to the upside, okay? Your crest is where it goes to the high point. Your trough is where it goes to the low point. And now you're getting your high and low as it's kind of going within the range, creating your resistance at the top and your support at the bottom until we finally get a breakout or breakdown out of the range which creates the new wave pattern in the new range either above or below the previous essentially the same idea with supply and demand only now we're talking about supply and demand with the wave form for specifically getting in and out of trades now let's talk about the clouds the standard deviation form wave nodes can be represented by the formation of clouds. The clouds become an area that contains any micro time based movement of price action. Thus, clouds overcome the limitations of analyzing price action on micro time frames. In short, clouds are the area for micro level accumulation and distribution forecasted based off of price action. Thus, Wave clouds become a forecasting tool for upcoming action in the stock market and they inform about the balance and the imbalance in real time. Over there on the left, you can kind of see the bearish trend, right? With the formation of the cloud with the continuation to the downside. And then you can start to see the cloud forming with the bullish trend showing the uptrending coming in with the price action and the momentum moving along with it so that's what they're looking at with the distribution forecasting utilizing the cloud features all right now let's dive into this elliot guy okay because he's pretty much the guy that created this wave theory that 
other people have evolved from the standard and kind of created their own stuff with the wave. But essentially, when you hear the term riding the wave, you can give a nod to Elliot because it kind of came from his teachings and stuff like that. So Elliot wave theory in technical analysis describes price movements in financial market. Developed by Ralph Nelson Elliott, it observes recurring factual wave patterns identified in stock price movements and consumer behavior. Investors who profit from a market trend are described as riding a wave. Now, understanding wave theory, we need to note that Elliott studied 75 years worth of yearly, monthly, weekly, daily, and he created hourly and 30 minute charts across various indexes. Now, we take these for granted, right? 30 minute, hourly, five minute, 15 minute, all these now come pretty much standard with any type of platform. But back in the day, they had to create this stuff. So just imagine that for a moment, okay? He created a lot of the stuff that we're utilizing today. His theory gained notoriety in 35 when Elliott made an uncanny prediction of a stock market bottom that has become a staple for thousands of portfolio managers, traders, and private investors. And basically, the staple is essentially rules to govern that Elliott created. Those rules were to identify, predict, and capitalize on wave patterns. And he wrote tons of books, articles, and letters that summarized all of this work and that were published in 1994. Now, you can find all this data out there and everything, but I'm telling you, there's a plethora of information, but you got to find people that know how to utilize this stuff and have experience in this because you can read all this stuff, but until you know how to utilize it, you can only get so much from reading books. you got to just know, learn from someone with an experience, and kind of get your feet wet and just get in there and do the hard work with riding the waves. His patterns do not provide any certainty about future price movements, but they help to give order to probabilities for future market action. Now, I want you to take note of that term right there. They do not give certainty about future price movements, but help to give order order to the probabilities of future market action. It's the probabilities. They can be utilized with other forms of technical analysis, including technical indicators, which a lot of technical indicators utilize these wave forms as a means to confirm the trends based off of Elliott's theories. Now, in technical analysis, the wave theory looks at long-term trends and price patterns and how they correspond with investor psychology. These price patterns are waves and they depend on the rules and identity that predict wave patterns within stock markets and help predict those future movements. It's all about that best trade with the highest probability of success based off of trends and levels given a set of rules. All right, so let's talk about the theory, right? It assumes that stock market prices movements can be predicted because they move in repeating up and down patterns called waves created by investor psychology and sentiment. The theory is subjective and identifies two different types of waves, impulse or motive and corrective waves. Wave analysis offers insights into trend dynamics and can help investors understand price movements. Now, when we're talking about impulse and corrective waves, they're nestled in self-similar factions to create larger patterns. For example, a one-year chart may be in the midst of a correction wave, but a 30-day chart may be showing a developing impulse wave. So a trader utilizing Elliott waves may interpret that has a long-term bearish outlook, but a short-term bullish outlook, which traders love this because you can kind of double dip. You can have a, mo a multitude of perspectives given the outlook based off of different time frames and kind of get time frame continuity and make multiple type of trade analysis. Impulse waves are the most common and also known as motive waves, and they're the easiest to spot. So it consists of five subwaves, three of which are motive waves and two are correctives. A 5-3, five, 5-3, three, five, three, five structure. Wave two cannot retrace more than 100% of the first wave. The third wave can never be the shortest of waves one, three, and five. And wave four can't go beyond the third wave at any time. If one rule is violated, the structure is not an impulse wave and a trader needs to reset. 
Now, corrective waves, called diagonal waves, consist of three or a combination of three subwaves that make movement in direction opposite of the trend of the next large degree. The goal is to move the market in the direction of the trend. The corrective wave consists of five subwaves. The, di the diagonal looks at either the expanding or contracting wedge. The subwaves of the diagonal may have a count of five depending on what type of diagonal is being observed, and each subwave of the of the diagonal never fully retraces the previous subwave and the subwave three never really will be the shortest wave and you can kind of see here at the top i'll blow it up these are the most common corrective patterns you'll see a flat right coming in an abc pattern and you might hear that term abc pattern for the correction okay usually on a downward sloping idea the zigzag abc or a triangle with a five way with a five wave coming down a, B, C, D, E, where the, at the end of E, you should get the correction trend with the breakout either continuing to the downside or continuing to the upside for the new trend. Now, it's funny because Elliott Wave Theory versus other indicators also show very close relationship to fibs, right? So fib sequences denote the number of waves in impulses and corrections. Wave relationships and price and time also commonly exhibit fib ratios. For example, a, correction, a corrective wave may also have a retrace of a fib percentage of the preceding impulse. And you can kind of see the fib calculations right there in the diagram. Here's a closer picture for you. Now, other analysts have taken the wave theories and created oscillators and other indicators that are inspired by the wave principles, including the wave oscillator. The oscillator provides computerized methods of predicting future price directions based off of the difference between a five period and 34 period moving average. Now, a lot of these oscillators, a lot of these indicators take the theories and principles and add in moving averages and you know time averages and stuff like that so a lot of them are kind of com combinations of price action moving averages and waveforms because it's all about the momentum and price action when you break everything down to the base and there's a closer image so you can kind of see how the oscillator rolls with the top chart in the identified wave pattern you got the one two three, four, and five. They don't have the ABC for the corrective side of the house, but you got the wave side of the house or the impulse. Now, when we're talking about how we're using these to trade, if a trader sees a stock moving in an upward trend or an impulse wave, they may want to go long and ride the stock, right? Ride the wave until it completes its fifth wave. Now, anticipating the reversal, the trader may then want to go short on the stock because they're waiting for the reversal and the ABC correction to happen. Now, I do want to highlight this gets option traders sometimes a little in trouble because they won't buy themselves time. And instead of getting that classic ABC pattern, what ends up happening is you get your A drop, but then you get your sharp B rise and you don't buy yourself enough time to make the correction. So you don't end up making money off of your trade because you start to lose money off of the jump on the B wave from the ABC, okay? So just be careful if you're playing the reversal because you might get the initial drop, but you might be late in your trade and you may, and you may get smoked on your B correction part of the ABC side of the house, okay? So just be cautious of that and just understand, make sure you buy yourself time. Always consider buying time when doing options. Bang that into your head, okay? Zero DTE is great for momentum trades, but Always consider buying time because it gives you an opportunity to make tactical decisions. Now, continuing on this, right, we're anticipating the reversal. So we might want to go short. We need to understand that the, the trading theory is the idea that the factional patterns reoccur in the financial markets, which they do. In mathematics, the factional patterns repeat themselves in infinite scale. That is not true in the market, okay? Technical analysis exists because patterns tend to repeat themselves. They don't always do, and they don't have to do. In mathematics, they do at an infinite time frame. Now, let's look at an example, okay? And remember, examples aren't always going to be perfect, okay? You kind of got to ride the wave, essentially, and make things happen. 
let's look at crowd and i'm sure you can already start to see what i'm talking about so let's see if you guys are thinking what i'm thinking because i'm going to put up some numbers here boom all right there's your impulse wave right there you got your one two your three your four and your five and now we're looking for our ABC pattern on the correct side of the house, right? So we can play our short and long game as we wait for the next breakout. Boom, there you go right there. Now, typically you see B, that's one of those things. Now I'm on the four hour chart here. If we were on the day chart or something like that, we may not see that price range, but I'm on the four hour chart and typically that would be a flat ABC, right? Because typically B wouldn't retrace higher than the fifth wave, but it's okay. Like I said, it doesn't always get perfect, but we got the A, we got the B, we got the C. Now let's see if we can find the next wave that we're looking for so we can potentially get the next five wave breakout. And boom, looks like we're in the midst of it right now. We got our one, we got our two, we've had our three, we're kind of in our fourth. And if we can get the break out of our fourth, then we'd be on to our fifth, pushing us to 165, 170, maybe 175. And that's where I'm hoping crowd will go to because I'm definitely wanting to be bullish on this, especially if we reverse from this fourth part of the wave and we start our trace up on the fifth part of the wave. So I would be looking for the reversal here and pushing towards the fifth part of the wave. And that's the way I'm looking to trade crowd. All right, that's about all I got for you guys. The Elliott Wave Theory provides a technical analysis on price patterns related to changes in investor sentiment and psychology. The theory identifies impulse waves that establish a pattern and corrective waves that oppose the larger trend. It assumes the stock price movements can be predicted because they move in repeating up and down patterns, which is the basis for why it exists because the market shifts with investor sentiment from various resources. Now, I want you to remember TWR is here to bring together like-minded traders and investors so that we're not alone in our trading journey. The goal is to grow, learn, share, and make some money as a team of market warriors. The market is our war zone, stocks are the battle, and we want to make that market, bend that knee in 2023, and with TWR, we bow to no one. As always, let's go to war together. Upcoming Products and Services all right, guys, let's talk about this next class I got, TWR Trading Market Waves. I'm going to teach you guys how to ride market shifts for big bank. Now, I'm not talking about the 5 and the 10% gainers that we hit on the regular every day, okay? We're talking about riding waves for some serious money, okay? 100, 200, hopefully 500% gainers, okay? Yes, they don't happen all the time, but there's a method to the madness, and when you apply the strategies, you can absolutely ride swing trades for huge money with discipline and strategies that work. I'm going to teach you guys how to do this, okay? 5 August at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, $15 gets you a seat and everybody gets the recording. You go to traderswarroom.com slash upcoming classes to purchase your seat and I will see you there. All right, team, I got the TWR Levels Lady Sunday training links out for next week. And guess what? You don't have to be a Discord premium member to get the training now. I have a link on Telegram for you. So I got messages all over the place like, hey, I used to be Discord or I don't like the Discord platform. Can I still get the training? I got you covered, okay? You can get it on Telegram. Now listen, if you don't know what who Levels Lady is, man, she's fantastic, okay? People are making tons of money. Just last week alone, she gave four stock picks, okay? Two of those went for over 100%. One of those went for over 500%, and Goldman Sachs, that thing almost hit 1,000%, okay? People are making a tons of money, and with the class, you get a week long of chat group as well, where she's giving you the tips and the signals to ride out the training for the week in hopes of getting 5K on the journey. So it's definitely worth the money. Get spun up, get, get some training on, and hopefully get out there and make the money on your journey to $5,000 per week. I'll see you guys there. The links are in the description. We cover it all at Traders War Room. Whether you're looking for stocks, options, futures, forex, crypto, or even sports betting, or you want real-time alerts, live trading, algo signals, or even if you just want to be part of a community of like-minded investors to grow, learn, and share together as a team. Something for everyone, every budget, and every style. Join TWR today and trade with the bulls.
The market is our war zone and stocks are the battle. Join TWR and let's go to war.